Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Taryn speaking and I am back with another speed build today. I'm going to be building another micro build that I hope you'll enjoy. This build can be downloaded from the Sims 4 gallery and the link is posted in the description below for easy access. You can also search my original idea which is Taryn Sims and check out my other builds as well. If you like my build and video, remember to give me a thumbs up and hit the follower and subscribe button on YouTube, Twitter and Twitch. This house is a very modern build and uh, I named this house Twins Hideout and the reason for that is that there will be one bedroom with two single beds. I would have used uh, twin beds if that existed in a game but I don't think it does so this um, so I'm using whatever I have available. I think this suits best for either two students, uh, roommates maybe, or maybe even siblings. And I have created two teens that will live here together while they are at school, Wittenhauser and Romanov. I have no idea what they are studying, so that is for each and every one of you to decide. But they can be downloaded from the Sims 4 gallery and I am going to post a link in the description for them as well. This house is a really super cool house, a very modern one. There are two floors here. Technically there are three but there was this box on the floor, or the upper floor, I'm sorry, that will be the, um, the pool. And they are accessible from the roof terrace that I actually wanted to have this very green echo kind of terrace. But um, unfortunately, I don't think the Sims can walk through flowers and grass. So I just left it with these green tiles or whatever. And uh, whatever you see me doing here, uh, these are supposed to be some sort of a shade that... Um, prevent people that are passing by and the neighbors being able to look and peek too much in when they are sitting on the balcony and when you download this I actually think they are gonna fall down to the ground you can either leave it like that or you can uh, rise them as I do personally I think the uh, when they are above the ground looks a little better so I chose to go for that solution and as you see in my first floor here, um, there are two levels in my first floor, which I think is super cool. So I am actually, um, what can I say, removing some of the foundation. So the kitchen and the living room will be separated by having two different heights. And uh, I use this... Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm using here, but the idea is to prevent people from being able to look at you while you're swimming around too much because I wanted to have these windows around the entire pool. So currently decorating a little in my balcony and yes, I would say this house probably suits best for two girls the way that I have decorated it and furnished it because um. I am using a lot of pink and purple and there is nothing wrong for guys liking pink and purple but I just assume that most girls, pro I'm sorry, most boys probably would think this is uh, maybe a little too much and heck I think most girls would think this a little too much themselves as well so uh, yes I definitely think this is most suitable for uh, for girls but you can redecorate it and choose whatever colors and uh, furniture that you want you can decorate it and furnish it as an old grandpa house for all I care that's actually an idea maybe I should make this um, institute for old people where they can live <laughs> well yeah I know why um, so I am going to stick to uh, some fresh colors throughout the build and uh, I know that I've done this recently but I feel that it is very easy to um, 
show the personality of whoever lives there if you add some different uh, colors you know black and white doesn't like say much about the person than other than boring or something so these two students have um, a very colorful palette i would say and uh, i am separating the bedroom with this uh, two square wall and the reason for that is because i want them to have some kind of privacy when they are asleep at least at least i would have appreciated that if i was sharing room with somebody so uh well yeah they have like their own piece of the room for for themselves so they can like be separated a little if they want to be alone and of course they need this uh, computer and desk where they can do their homework and stuff and I also want to add some teddy bears because they have just moved away from home it's a little bit scary so it's, uh, it's a comfort to bring along one of your best friends I guess so I don't know if they knew each other before they moved or they met during school but uh, anyway this is uh, I think this is a very nice student uh, home. Maybe a little fancy for most students. I would never afford it myself when I went to school, but uh, I could definitely, definitely live here. And uh, a very pink bathroom is uh, coming up next. And uh, well, yeah, I uh, I don't know why I ended up with this uh, cute baby pink color on the counters. I personally think they're absolutely hideous but uh, I was kind of on the roll with this pink thing so why not why not I guess and uh, yes yeah, so decorating the, um, the shelves and counters and stuff like that well yeah this hallway is quite small and uh, there's only room for like stairs because I was afraid that I would block the uh, entrance to the balcony. And uh, yes, as I said before, I wanted to have like this grass roof with flowers and stuff, but it's quite small. So I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to place them everywhere and uh, that you can walk around freely as well. So I choose to just leave it with pretty much nothing. And uh, this is the end of my video, guys. And if you like this video and build please remember to give me a thumbs up and hit the follower and subscribe button for youtube twitter and twitch and you can also leave me a comment below and let me know what you liked and what you didn't like so i can improve my future builds and video so enjoy the upcoming video tour and i'll see you guys in a very short time bye bye